Let's teach robots to perform pick and place tasks. I'm Pea from Fosfo, and today I'll show you all the steps to train and test your own pick and place AI model on your SO100 or your SO101. We'll be using BBA CT and Fosfobot. First, let's record a dataset. Here is the setup I'll be using to record my dataset. So I have one SO100, one risk camera right here, and one context camera right here. What is very important is that you make sure that your context camera actually captures the whole scene, including, and most importantly, the object you want to pick up with your robot. So in order to do so, you can go to the Fosfo dashboard and have a look right here at the camera overview. So here, as you can see, my context camera actually captures the ping ball, which I want to pick up with my robot. Also make sure that you use the same setup for data set recording as for inference. Um, this is particularly important for your context camera. So once you've got the right angle, please fix your camera tightly so it will be able to detect the bounding boxes during inference. Otherwise, your model just won't work. I finished recording my data set. It is around 30 episodes long, uh, which is enough for the model to work well. We'll be using Phosphobot for training and inference. So if you haven't installed it already, uh, you can do it by following our documentation in under two minutes. And once that's done, we can go to the AI training session in order to start our training. So you can now go to Hugging Face and copy the name of your data set onto here. So how does BB ACT works? Basically, it's an ACT model enhanced with bounding boxes in order to considerably improve its quality. So you have the usual uh, parameters, batch size steps, plus two more. The first one is target detection instruction. So it's basically, you need to describe the object you want to pick up with a robot. So here it's a pink ball. And then you need to select your image key. So it should correspond to your context camera in order for the model to detect the object. So here it's main, but depending on your data set recording configuration, it could change. So I advise you to check this out. So now I can save these parameters and I can start the training. I'm going to get a coffee and I'll be back in around 15 minutes when the training is over. 15 minutes later. Training is completed and I'm now in the AI control section of the dashboard. Before doing anything else, I plugged my robot and camera into my computer and made sure I'm using the same setup as for the recording. This is actually very important for the model to work. Then I can copy my AI model from plugin face and paste it here. I also need to make sure I'm using the correct camera before running inference. So here it should be camera one because it's a context camera. Otherwise the model won't be able to detect the bounded boxes and it just won't work. Finally, I need to input the same instructions as for the training. So here it should be pink ball, remember? And then I'm all set and I can just start AI control.